I currently have with me uh, Ismail Ahmed, who is a member of the Board of Trustees of the All Progressives Congress. You're welcome to Sunrise Today. Thank you. Thank you for having me. So right now we have finally have a report, a final report uh, from the Senate Committee investigating uh, the presidential initiative on the Northeast. Are you embarrassed by some of the outcomes of their findings? I've said it before in this program that um, that I think it is embarrassing if some of the allegations that came out in the initial report were true. And I said it is it was embarrassing. It is still is, and um, um, it's something that I thought at that time that if it has any veracity to it, that um, the SGF should have. Um, if it is true, and I maintain that, if it was true, that the SGF should have um, either stepped down or resigned. I've said it before. When you say if it was true, are you trying to be diplomatic, or do you think that you know, the Senate can churn out a report that would not be true? Um, you know, there are so many... Uh, what you see depends on where you sit, and uh, there are so many sides to any allegation that comes up. Uh, politics have taught us, if anything, in this country over the last um, decade and a half that, um, you know, there's always something more than meets the eye. So uh, you can't conclusively, you know, agree with anything that comes out unless if it is uh, uh, proven beyond reasonable doubt. But I think uh, there's something to go on in this case, and uh, that was why the SGA was suspended as well. Okay. Now, that's another issue. Some people believe that you know, the work that the Senate has done should have been sufficient you know, for the security agencies to act upon. Well, I don't think they wrote to the security agencies. I think they wrote to the president, and they said they wanted him, the president now. Not to, they, I didn't think the letter that they wrote to the president initially was to investigate. They said the president should suspend him pending investigation. Uh, the president asked for a full report wrote back to them asking for Suspend a full him. report. That's, which not, that's not what I recall. What I recall they was said that he should sack him. Exactly. That's what they said. That's, those uh, were the so words. that's not that's not a letter to the security agency. That's a letter to the president to yes. take an administrative action. Yes. And the president said complete your report first and give it back to me. And before that happened and I think um, based on whatever the uh, avenues that the president has at his disposal he decided to suspend the SGF and order for an administrative investigation through a panel of inquiry headed by the Vice President, um, uh, pending the outcome and then further actions will be taken. Because right now we understand that the, uh, the Vice President's panel has asked for the report, the final report of the Senate as well, and they hope to be looking through that. But, you know, if there was a report from the Senate, do you th don't you think that ought to have been sufficient for uh, security agencies to, to, to strip in and investigate? You know, it is never how far, it is always how well mm -hmm. you do things. Um, um, I, I think the, um, any no report, no paper, no evidence uh, would be overlooked by the, uh, uh, should be overlooked by the panel, was overlooked by the panel. So the Vice President uh, wanted all the documents that related to the issues submitted to him so that they could look at it. And I think that was what happened. So no one report is conclusive, but uh, the, 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 the legislatures have done their job. The, uh, the panel, the Vice President's panel, uh, is doing it. So I think it has done it and said it's submitting this report on Monday. Uh, we'll wait to see what happens. Okay, but how would you see how do you see this matter proceeding? How do you envisage that it's going to move on from there? I I see you see um, when you have a vice president who is a pastor and a professor, who is a man of God and a man of law, if competence and integrity are a title, I think it should be included in his name. So we have no qualms whatsoever that whatever is going to come out of that report, it's going to be um, is going to be something that. Um, uh, is well thought out through and uh, if there is need for recommendations they're probably going to put his recommendations they're going to put their recommendations there and the president will take the necessary action the words of the senate president are very suggestive uh, as to you know pressure being mounted on the committee to to see you know perhaps if he can be reinstated the president president said that well he did suggest in the report 
uh, that there was pressure being mounted on you know the Senate and even the committee that was doing the work some pressure was being mounted to what ends the pressure was being mounted it's not very clear by who? Uh, but should we ask him <laughs> I think you should because if someone is telling me that the, the, the committee who is made up of the Attorney General the National Security Advisor and the Vice President there's pressure on him then who is the pressure coming from I mean you can get any higher authority than that then who is the pressure coming from I don't think there's any pressure coming uh, being brought down on, on the committee to do anything you know I think a lot of more people were more excited with the fact that um, the vice president was heading the committee they were more comfortable with that fact than anything else uh, during the suspension saga so we have no qualms we have no worries and um, I, I haven't read the report I haven't read any statement from this the president saying that they pressure to we can them. play the report again we have it on tape I mean it's on record it's not anything well it's, it's not gospel I don't think there's any pressure even if there's going to be any pressure on the committee you can be rest assured that uh, it will not be pressurized well, we'll take a moment now. When we return, we will continue our discussion on the outcome of the Senate's committee on the Pine Report. Do stay with us.